To go to church. I won't have time to do my ages or nothing. I might brush them back real quick. Bubba, yeah, the oil. I wanted to match with Bubba today. Do I look a mess or am I tripping? Come here, Bubba. Don't rub that on your shirt. This room looks so bad. I need to do some cleaning, like ASAP. He's gonna wear his black Air Max. These are vibes. Um, I went to go get some gas, but we're just not leaving church. But I'm finna, um, I want to cook some lunch. My year said he's hungry, so I'm just, he's just going to finish his fruits from this morning. And if he's still, yes, Bubba. If he's still hungry, then I'll just find him something at home and snack on. But I am about to cook. Yes, Bubba. Uh-huh. But I am about to cook some, um, start meal prepping for this week. I'm splitting my meals in half because I don't want to eat the same thing all week today i'm just gonna be meal prepping for three days i have everything that i need for all the meals for all week except for some dandelion root which was gonna be some fried we used to see dandelions all the time around the neighborhood we used to blow them out and like now that i'm looking for them they're nowhere to be found collard greens but we have this community garden in my old neighborhood anybody can get anything out of it it's just nobody be stunned except for the people who actually be and stuff in there. I'm gonna go over there and see if I can find some collard greens. If not, I'm gonna just make it into a regular wrap. I'm on my way home to go change out of this. And then we're gonna head to the community garden. This is the community garden. My ears back there sleep. But these are the, these look like what I need, but they don't look like they're grown out enough. Honestly, y'all, I'm scared to walk up in here. It's locked. It's locked. They don't even have anything in there anyway. The ones from the store, bro, is just... They're too small, so I can't even use them. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to my mama's house, see if there's anything I can use there. And if not, there's a whole bunch of them out in, like outside the gate. They're just too small.
cook anything like this, so I'm kind of nervous. Everything about that was good. I'm gonna make me another one. So, and then I'm gonna start packing up the rest of it for my meal prep. My ear.
like it. Kind of like my snack because I'm trying to get used to having a snack somewhere in between the days. I'm just going to the gym with my mama. This is the gym fit. Nothing too special. Just these black spandex, my same old shoes, oh. and this hoodie. The pamper on the countertop is good. I was trying to eat as less as I can to make sure that I'm going to have enough food for my year until I was able to get some groceries. So now that we have some groceries and I know that I'm going to be able to get some, then it's just now i'm starting back to eat but now but it was still like yeah it was a week it was only like a week or two where i was barely eating because of that and i'm already losing my freaking bottom weight this is why my weight fluctuates so much because if i skip a day of not heavily eating then my weight just go away Look at this. yes bubba stomach is like it seems like it's growing like what the freak is this i did just eat no i'm not pregnant and then, and then my waist is getting back wide like at this point at this point i'm just gonna get a bbl i'm trying to find a babysitter so i can go to the gym i'm sorry i was i was scared to record in a while do you sweat it's 11 30 i just got home I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I'm on my weight gaining journey. If you want to like watch closely about all of my weight gain and stuff, I have like a um like a little story thingy that's permanent on my public profile on Snapchat. So y'all can go look at that. But I've been taking abdomen. A lot of people say it work. A lot of people say it's like when I look it up on the internet, it's dangerous. I know it got recalled or something like that. But it went viral a while back and I never got a chance to try it, but I'm trying it now, and hopefully we don't we don't feel whatever it got recalled for. <laughs> I just take 10 milliliters three times a day before every meal. I'm almost out of freaking protein. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but my skin is breaking out so bad. I'm going to be like a little mini self-care night. Right now, I'm going to make this smoothie, and I'm going to show y'all 
how I'm making my smoothies this week. Talking the things that you say, where they make you feel alright. And I catch a vibe and it's up and I look in your face. Tell me why you look so fine. Baby girl, I see you. Wanna ride you like a bicycle. And you they blow my mind from a mile ago. And I don't go lie, you light up my mind. But I want you to me, my love is your love, baby. She don't want the Gucci, but I'm only bendy. Cause she give me butterflies in my belly. I'm finna do just this little Aztec Indian healing clay mask. Let's talk. First of all, my mental health. Child, it's it's been on a roller coaster. It's 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 been a dizzy one. Okay. I hate loud noises. I hate loud noises. <laughs> I can sit there and watch somebody like clap and I'll still jump. But anyway, yeah, my mental health. Y'all know that I am fresh out of a very long relationship and we were kind of married at some point. I recorded two, two vlogs and two chit chat get ready with me and I uploaded them and everything. But I deleted them because I just feel like I felt like I was just showing too much. You know, at some point you have to draw boundaries with yourself and realize what's too much to be on the internet. And in all of those videos, I felt like I just completely violated that boundary. I wanted to show everything, the ups, the downs, the pretties, the ugly. And I wanted to be as transparent as, transparent as possible because no one on the internet is transparent at all. And I just, for some reason, wanted to share my story so bad. Oh no. I'm not sure what all y'all saw, but just know that mentally, it was definitely a big toll on me. And it wasn't even about me losing a person. I get over people quickly. I'm not flexing or bragging or nothing. I don't think it's cute. I don't think it's ugly or neither. I just, it's just a fun fact about me. I get over people quick. like. I can break up with somebody and be under the next one within two days tops like that has never been a problem the problem was the feeling of abandonment the feeling of loneliness and with me having a son if i do like meet somebody or whatever just to keep me entertained for the time being i just i can't i can't be as open with them i can't be as active with them because I have a son and I have to be very careful with who I bring my son around. Finding the right person to date and be on a serious note with is very hard to find, especially my age. Someone that I'm comfortable with raising my child. Y'all know the financial struggles came with it, which was a big toll. A lot of those videos that I deleted, I was having like multiple mental breakdowns that I happened to catch on camera. And that's really why I deleted it because those mental breakdowns were just too vulnerable. And I said, I can't post this. I cannot put this on the internet. Like, I really wanted to, you know, for the sake of transparency, but I just couldn't push myself to go through with it all the way. My mental health has not been that well. Um, it, it actually was got so bad that I strayed away from God. I was ashamed to pray because I'm not using my pain as a way of, as an excuse or anything, but I feel like that was a big part of my actions and I was doing a lot of fornicating with one person, of course, but still fornicating nonetheless. And I was also, I just got out of tune with God. I started reading my Bible and praying and worshiping throughout the day because I honestly just felt ashamed. I didn't even wanna to come to God after I did what I did and was doing what I was doing. And I knew that I was not gonna stop no time soon. And I was just like, I'm not finna play in God face like that, you know? And so, for a while, I was just living a very simple life. My old ways, you know, had crept back in. And I feel like that feeling of abandonment and not being good enough is honestly what triggered my old habits to start back. When I realized what was going on, when I realized how bad it was getting i honestly had just gave up on everything i gave up on the apartment i was just waiting for my time to run out i gave up on trying to get a job well no i never gave up on that 
I just gave up on a lot of things, you know, just mentally tired and drained from something so bad that I just was like, F it, you know, F it. And like at the last week, during the last five days that I had till I got evicted out of here, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I hustled and I hustled and I hustled. Okay, Faith Without Works is dead. And I wrote, I raised up that rent in like four or five days, $750. I paid it. I got on some. Um, I got some government assistance with my light bill. It's taken care of, and I I've been actively trying to find a job, and I also signed up for like food stamps and stuff. Just government assistance, I ain't ashamed, honey. Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do to get what you gotta get. Okay, and I feel like that would help me out a lot. And as far as the jobs go, like I've been out every day, almost every day for Miss Lane. Y'all have seen the vlogs. I don't want to keep repeating that. But y'all, y'all seen what I do for Miss Lane. Go out pitching my presentation and stuff, collecting donations and all that. I've also been doing that. And then I've been looking for like a real regular job. And I was looking into my year moving, but that didn't happen. And as of now, I am my year only caregiver <laughs> right now and it's honestly by choice i'm not gonna sit here and bash anybody or say anything that's untrue it's by choice i'm choosing to take care of maya by myself because i'm sick of everything being prioritized over him i'm sick of the convenience of the convenient parenting i'm sick of the lack of support the lack of financial support the lack of just freaking time support you know the lack of overall parental support, I'm tired, I'm tired, you know? I'm tired of having to do things a certain way just to make sure my baby is taken care of, you know, by the other person, by the other parent. <laughs> and I just, I'm sick of it. And it's very toxic and it's not healthy. So I chose to just get my year on my own and we kicking it trying her best he keeps me in check so i'm not mad but at the same time motherhood is a lot you know the baby itself is not it's not what's hard about parenting it's motherhood it's the responsibilities of motherhood the freaking drainage of motherhood <laughs> the repeating things constantly the having to yell and feel guilty for it, feeling guilty about everything, being scared every time my child is out of my sight. That is a lot to handle. Just a little nervous, I guess, anxious. For this new chapter, I feel like I'm in a new chapter in my life. Full-time mom, own crib, um, trying to get a full-time job, like, and then also working my nonprofit part-time to the side. And then also doing social media, like I'm doing a lot right now. And I just feel like this is the chapter of my life where things are getting better because I'm learning the art of letting go. I'm learning the art of knowing my self-worth. And I'm also learning the art of being alone without being lonely. So I feel like good things will stem from that. I've been working on myself mentally, physically, most importantly, spiritually. I've been working on trying to be a better mother and I've just been trying to work on my career, just like working on my life through God. It's always important that you do it through God, do it the way God said to do it. And I can't say I'm perfect, but I'm definitely trying my best to do things God's way. <sighs> but it's hard, sis, it's hard. That's the update. I'm just really working on myself. It was a really hard roller coaster ride at first for the first month or so um three weeks or a month or so being alone and being broken up but i feel like it was definitely worth it because i've never would really have the peace that i have now if i was still in that relationship i wouldn't feel as happy and light and motivated and driven as I do now if I was still in a relationship so I don't regret it at all I don't regret losing that relationship I actually prayed my way out of that relationship y'all yeah, just gonna be along for the ride but I am gonna say I'm not gonna be as open as 
I have been I'm not trying to be secretive or gatekey. It's just respecting my boundaries that I've set of when it's too much, you know. Too much is being said. Too much is being shown. And I do feel like you should be careful with showing certain people certain things. And I just never know who's watching. So I can't always say everything to the T how I want to. I'll still vlog as much as I can. I can't make any promises. I'm still going to be working on Miss Lane. I'm still going to be working this full-time job. And I'm still going to be mothering full-time at that. Whew, it's a lot. This mask is almost dried up. So I'm going to take like maybe a few more minutes dried up and finish up my routine with some toner, my almond oil mixed with tea tree oil, and we're going to go to bed. I like to be very demure, very delightful with my time, with the fact that my year wakes up at the butt crack hours of dawn, and I have to be up to fix him breakfast either way you go. So, yeah, we're going to bed after this. <laughs> And I also didn't want to go without saying y'all, like, thank y'all so much for making this a safe space for me to be able to talk to y'all and making this such a comfortable environment for me and comforting and encouraging words that y'all give me. It just lightens my whole day, y'all don't even know. And I really am truly grateful for it and I thank y'all so much. Good morning. We just got done eating our breakfast. My year had like half a bowl of cereal because that's what he wanted. Then he saw me cutting up my fruit and so then he wanted fruit. So... <laughs> We had our same old, same old fruit bowl. We got a new leaf growing. Oh my God. Yeah. Also, she's growing. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all, I got worried because I kept losing leaves. I was watering her too much. I know with these, you're supposed to prune off old, old trees or old leaves. And this is one of the older leaves. And also this one. So I'm thinking I have to prune that off. But there's also some dead ones that are not so old. Wait, this is an older one. The bottom ones are older, but I just feel like that's not old enough to be pruned off. And this isn't older at all, but it's still dying off. But there's also some more growing. So I don't know what's going on with her. These potatoes, I've just been going with the flow with these potatoes because they're just a growing. Look at these vines, they're literally hanging out of the thing while they're all growing that way i don't know but whatever and these have been growing as well but i only go to the gym with my mama every other day i do like a couple ab workouts at the gym i still want to work on my stomach a lot so i decided on the days i don't go to the gym that i do ab workouts today i'm not going to the gym so i'm gonna show y'all my workout routine for today and then i promise i'm gonna show y'all my gym routine whenever i go to the gym tomorrow i'm trying to take him a bath because he smells like pee for some reason and we're gonna get ready and go to the gym i mean we're gonna get ready and go work out I just got done working out and it's like past 12 o'clock because for one, my year here, he just loves, he just loves attention. And for two, y'all trying to record 
while I'm doing this takes up a lot of time. And then I got stuff with timers on it and I just be trying to figure it out. And another thing that be taking so long is I be playing my music. And when the right song come on, baby, I be in the mirror dancing. I be in the mirror looking at myself, feeling myself. And then I forget that I'm even working out. My stomach is honestly like my main concern right now because I'm trying to gain weight. I'm taking my supplements. I'm eating a lot. But I'm going to gain weight everywhere. I'm not sure how. But Mr. Hulk Man, if you don't put that down. I'm not sure how my fat cells are distributed throughout my body. So to monitor how like how big I get in certain areas, I'm just trying to work out my stomach every day to just keep breaking those muscles down. I'm going to make my protein smoothie and take a shower and everything. As soon as I, sorry, I gotta get comfortable. As soon as I got done eating, I was like, you know what? Let me just take a, a little break real quick. You know, just pause everything I'm doing right now. And I was watching a little bit of McKenna Walker. That's my favorite YouTuber. And then my year woke up, but usually he woke up, he wake up mid now, but he just be looking for me. So I put him back to sleep. And in the process of me putting him back to sleep, I fell asleep. <laughs> so whenever we both woke up, I fixed him some lunch, which is what I ate, but we ran out of wrappers. So he just ate it in the bowl form. And then I got ready and now we're on the way to the library. I have a lot of printing, well, not a lot, but plenty of printing to do. And I got this little binder that my mama gave me and I'm basically going to dress this up from Miss Lane. I'm gonna design it or whatever. And I still want it to be professional, but I, I also still want it to be cute. I want it to scream me. So nine size out of 10, the paper is gonna be either olive green or that cognate orange color I've been obsessed with or like with leaf decorations or something. I don't know, but I want to get real creative with it and I want to I want to make it my own. They have like a little kid section that Meyer loves being in. They got toys and stuff and then there's other kids there. So every time I go there, I be I be there on limited time cuz <laughs> cuz I be trying to rush. And he gets so upset whenever we leave. So this time we get to spend us a, a few hours there as, as long as I need to. They close at 10, I think. I didn't show y'all my outfit because it's something really basic. And I didn't do like a get ready with me. And also my ear had my phone watching it so he can stay out of my face. Because his phone is broke. He f keep freaking throwing it every time he gets mad. So now the screen is messed up and it's paused on something or whatever. But... It's not nothing special. I just got on this dirty Nike shirt because this is the only shirt that would go with these pants. What's crazy is these were sweats. I cut them into shorts like I did my black sweats. And I just, because I just be like, bro, I just buy me some sweats when the fall time come around or when it get cold. But right now it's hot and I want some shorts, some loose shorts that I can just throw on. So I just cut my sweats into shorts. And this was the only shirt that would look decent. I tried like three other shirts. At this point, I'm just rambling. I'm just talking. So I just hit y'all back whenever, I don't know, whenever I decide to talk to my phone again. <laughs> I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, they that they die, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn, baby, girl, you know me, who am I, all the niggas around me, why do they die, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, two-turn, baby, girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty off of Man, good job. Just the owner of the, it's a Crenshaw. 
way that I've been living unconventional. I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know. I've been procrastinating all day on cleaning. But I'm gonna start. Okay. You gonna help me clean up? No. You can help make a mess, but you ain't gonna help me clean up. I love you. I love you, Bubba. <laughs> okay. I didn't clean up. We are on our way <laughs> to my mama's house. I don't know, y'all. I just don't have the motivation. Um, I'm gonna go to my mama's house so my year can play with his cousin and I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna dedicate Thursday to like really deep cleaning the crib and everything and getting everything together. Going through my year clothes and his closet and everything. I'm literally driving 50 on the 65 highway because I'm saying trying to fix my phone and try not to wreck at the same freaking time. Some clothes I'm gonna give to the Goodwill and some stuff if it looks really, really nice, I'm gonna give away to people on my Facebook. I'm not gonna be ordering him no clothes off Sheen no more, baby. We hit a Walmart, City Trends, Target, whatever's in the area, you find some cute stuff there. Honestly, I just don't see the hype no more. Like even for myself, it ain't even just for him because he's young. It, me, myself, like as long as it's cute, then I'm gonna fill my closet up with cute stuff. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I do wanna do some shopping online. But as far as trying to get the designer stuff and all that extra stuff, sugar, I ain't got the money for that right now. And I'm not even gonna look at it like I do. Yeah, I'm almost at my mama crib now. That's how much I've been talking. You done came all the way across the whole freaking city and I'm steady talking. And, oh my God, there's puppies. No, I wanna hit you. Bro, I would literally crash trying not to freaking hit animals. Like, it was a turtle in the road, and my mom was driving down this highway, and we saw the turtle, and she swerved into the other lane with oncoming traffic. She swerved in the other lane. We didn't even check if another car was coming. Thank God it wasn't. But she just looked at the turtle and automatically swerved over without even thinking twice about it. And I'm like, oh, wow. We would have got in a, we could have got in a real bad wreck over freaking turtle. It'd be that serious, cause we don't hurt animals. Mommy, he's playing toys. I said he can play with them. Just clean them up when y'all done. Mommy, he playing with the toys. Mommy, he's playing I gotta hurry up because I'm out of storage. <laughs> That's why I didn't get my first bite. Y'all, this is so good. Even Bubba over here eating it. He don't like green stuff, but he eating it. And this skin, the salmon skin. Mm. I wish they sold salmon skin on its own. I like it. I show you. He's still eating. <laughs> I just be putting all my little food and some leftover boxes and that's that's my um meal prep and stuff oh uh, yeah and i'm i'm marinating some salmon in that jerk sauce because y'all know i had some leftover conscious kokoskis that being said and then some more toppings from um the uh lunch from uh, yesterday and stuff so i'm just gonna make some jerk salmon for that for my lunch until i run out of that food Stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town, and I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. And usually, I don't do this often, but since recruiting. Thank you for this video. We're about to receive a letter from my body, Christ. I'm nervous, but.
Bubba? enough water but let's get buttered up ping pong And I know y'all probably like, girl, half the day gone. Why is you just now checking in? Well, crazy story. I ran out of storage a couple of times yesterday. That's why I didn't record as much. Last night, I didn't even go to the gym. So we're going to go to the gym today. Which means we have three hours to do what we we finna do. I just been editing. I am hot. I want to start off in my ears room. And I can just finish cleaning up the rest of the crib while he's in there sleeping. I just want to know if you my friend. I just want to know if you can tend it. I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my people straight, girl. Don't get my shit away. I'm just trying to get my people straight, girl. Stay, girl. 
popping. All in my phone, I got options. And I don't wanna tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play your fan. Yeah, something that makes me look at you too often. Oh, baby, you can give it something. Baby, I can run all the time. I'm talking crazy. I need you running. Cause I don't, I don't want to sweat in this house. Ooh. Yeah, see me when I first went in there. I had bad experience with people my age. People my age are usually so childish and mean. I'm traumatized from people being around people my age. That's why I'm be around them. And I was like, yeah, I'm not recording. I'm gonna just have to plead my case to the vlog later on. That was when I was doing my hip thrust. And I do 15, 15 reps, four sets of those. And then when I started on my leg press, I was like, you know what? It's a way that I can finesse to be low key. I'm an introvert. I, I definitely don't like, I don't like attention or none of that. Don't nobody know that you even there until you pull out your phone and start recording yourself. I didn't record one of my exercises because I was being a scary cat. I about died on that Stairmaster. I know that got ain't much. But I'm gonna go pick up my baby. We're gonna go home, do our little night routine. I still gotta clean up. I was gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it to tomorrow, but I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take a shower and everything, and then I'm gonna start cleaning up. I don't care how late I stay up, I'm cleaning up tonight. Can anybody tell me why all of my leaves are dying off of my plant? It is 11.58, 12 o'clock. My ear just went to sleep, and then I took me a shower. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. Y'all don't judge me when I show y'all this front room, okay? Imagine waking up to this. My ear dumped my crispy onions out on the table. And I was only able to save half the bag. Trash. Stuff everywhere. Like it's ridiculous. And I'm not I'm not gonna let this Oh no, I left my food out. What the freak is wrong with me? Me, I 